Yeah, my pump the brakes this week. He's not in the my top 24 running back, so he's going to be a flex consideration. You could start him if you need to because he's <laughs> oh, uh, Devin Coleman. Unfortunate. It is unfortunate. Look, if you told me before the season Devonta Freeman's going to miss almost the entirety of this year, Tevin Coleman would have been thought of as a lock for a top 10 running back. Yep. Since... Devonta Freeman went down in week five. Once he came back and went officially down and out, that's when it's like, okay, it's Tevin Coleman time. We know Devonta Freeman's on IR. He's going to be getting 15 carries a game. He has averaged just under 10 carries a game from that point on, despite the fact that Ido Smith has just been a talentless player on the field in my opinion. he's Now he's doing okay in the passing game. Tevin Coleman has really made it up uh, from some, uh, you know, receiving touchdowns, uh, some big yardage games in the passing game, but this is a matchup against Baltimore that I don't expect them to really be able to win on all the the screen game uh, stuff. I mean, and and if you're if you're rushing the ball 9.7 times a game, he's averaging 42 yards a game since Freeman has gone down, and he's only had one rushing touchdown during that stretch. I don't see a huge scoring output against the Ravens. It's just a bad matchup. He hasn't been what we have hoped he would be. And so, to me, Tevin Coleman this week is not a must start. He's a can start, a flex consideration. Look at your options. Choose accordingly. Uh, I think that's fair. And I think if Tevin Coleman was running better, he'd probably average more than 9.7 carries a game. Oklahoma, uh, I got a dynasty question for you. Uh, I was wondering what your guys' outlook was on Tevin Coleman. You know, I know he's hitting the market uh, this upcoming year, uh, but, man, I mean, even in Atlanta, it seems like the situation can't get much better than this, and he's just a high-end RB2. Is that his ceiling? Uh, hope to hear from you guys. Thanks. Love the show. Bye. I'm glad we got this question because I almost brought this question up when we talked about him earlier today. It feels like he's hurt his stock. Yes. Even though the offensive line has been bad, and that's what all the, the – tweets are going to come in as I feel like he's going to land someplace it, here's the comparable that I will have for you I don't think it's going to be much different than kind of what happened to Isaiah Crowell in his free agency this past year he will be added by a team in need of a running back he will be part of some sort of balanced backfield maybe he's the main guy he's not going to be the only guy if Ito Smith is stealing these level of carries if his you know, efficiency. It, you, I, there was a time when you thought Tevin Coleman was going to be the next Michael Turner. Yeah, coming into this season, Tevin Coleman's dynasty outlook looked a lot better great, than yeah. it does yeah. right now. Yeah. You were excited about his free agency, but when this free agency hits, Lev Bell is going to be the main prized free agent running back who's going to get the massive contract. Tevin Coleman will go somewhere. I agree with you, Andy. Just like Isaiah Crowell, he'll get paid. He'll get a good chunk of change, but he won't be the only back. And as this caller points out, Tevin Coleman is pretty much in the best case scenario right now. A team, a scheme that he knows that has been successful, uh, that has a pretty high-powered offense, and he's pretty much an RB2. Let me let me give you an incredible stat. Highest percentage of carries resulting in a loss, number one, Tevin Coleman. 19.7 carries resulting in a loss. I don't know if that's trying to hit the big play. I don't know if it's offensive line best case scenario for Tevin Coleman is that Le'Veon Bell prices himself out of teams like that otherwise he's just it's Would gonna you be rather... trouble for Tevin Coleman it, there's no there's no real good landing spots for running backs other than in my opinion the Colts and the Texans uh well, ba there was Baltimore <laughs> there was actually but I don't think they will pay him maybe there was hope going into this year that Tevin Coleman would actually go to the Steelers after Le'Veon right. Bell leaves. Yeah, that was going to be great. That James, could happen too. Well, but James Connors kind of established. Yeah, I, I but would, he, he the depth in this in the league possible. I mean, there I, he'll land. He'll land someplace. Yes, yeah, so he'll of course get a job. I am so proud of you for watching that video. That was awesome. I mean, you did a great job, and you could do a better job if you watched our whole video, which. How convenient. There's a link right there. Just click it and click subscribe.